Now then, yeah, just on the hunt for some black fawn. It's usually the best sort of spot. And these are usually a good sign that you're onto black fawn. See the old slows? So yeah, this is going to be a case of looking around these hedgerows for suitable, yeah, I think the whole hedgerow is black fawn. Yeah, just going to have a quick look around, see if I find any suitable shanks. There right, I found some suitable, you can see the slows on there. Found a couple of decent ones, a root ball one. So what I tend to do is, this time of year, find the slows, just follow it down, see if you see any suitable ones. So yeah, you've got to be careful though, because sometimes a, there are black thorns planted with hawthorn, so you'll just have to, what I tend to do is find the, uh, the lyle fruits and then work from there. So yeah, I'll do a couple more and I'll show you at the end, but another one is always get landowner's permission. You don't want to be just trailing up, cutting people's hedges down. So yeah, I'll uh, see if I find a few more decent ones and then uh, I'll show you what I've got. So yeah, there could be some Lyle Goodens in here. Alright, I was back in my shed. Got pretty cold. Found a couple, so just show you got this yarn first i'll say as well always make sure you cut off more than you think as such just uh, to lower the risk of splitting or cracking oh, that's a decent one and then the last one i got was just this lyle one i couldn't really find much else worth sort of harvesting. I made a little bit of a mess when I was cutting this yen off but hopefully it'll uh, won't affect it too much. And I've got the big yen, that's the first yen I found. Yeah, full of thorns. Again, cut off more than I thought I would need. There's a few bends in it, like give, adds it a bit of character. Yeah, it's all right again kind of messed up a little bit trying to harvest it so hopefully uh, there'll be a bit of cracking and splitting in that but uh, uh it shouldn't make too much i don't think that's why you cut cut more than off than you think in case it's splitting and cracking but that'll be a good one that i'll probably say another another good tip is wear your gloves because uh, these fawns really do hurt. So yeah, that's how I find me a uh, black fawn in the winter months. Yeah, make some few nice, nice uh, shillelies there, eh, Will. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll hang them up in the uh, in my shed. I tend to always harvest my sticks in the winter months when the sap site's lowest. Uh, I think it just gives you less chance of splitting, cracking in the uh, seasoning process. I've never really cut sticks in uh, spring and summer so I expect they'll take a little bit longer to season and whatnot. But yeah, there's another little tip for you. And like with the mud and stuff, all I'll be doing is uh, letting it dry off. I'll use, a, I'll use a brush to just scrape off the excess. Uh, I know some folk I've seen, I've never done it, but they'll cover these open wounds with a type of wax. Just to help preserve it, lower the risk of splitting. But yeah, come back in two years and you'll see final product of these. 